1989, Mercedes-Benz unveiled an entirely new generation of the SL Roadster. The types 300 SL, 300 SL24, and 500 SL, internally called R129, hardly have anything in common with their popular predecessors from Series 107, but still manage to immediately win the hearts of the customers. The electro-hydraulic convertible roof, a series standard with the SL, offers comfort on the highest technological level. At the push of a button, it unfolds within only 30 seconds. For the first time, the coupe top is made of light metal, making it 10 kilograms lighter than its predecessor's hard top. The front fixed caliber disc brakes are an absolute novelty. Used for the first time in a Mercedes-Benz passenger car, they ensure an even wear and tear of the brake pads. Under the hood of the SL Roadster, the latest technology can be found. Ein 3 Liter 6 Zylinder Reihenmotor mit zwei Ventiltechnik, eine oben liegende Nockenwelle und 140 Kilowatt Leistung im 300 SL. 3 Liter 6 Zylinder Reihenmotor mit 4 Ventiltechnik, 2 oben liegende Nockenwellen und 170 Kilowatt Leistung im 300 SL24. Ein 5 Liter 8 Zylinder V-Motor mit 4 Ventiltechnik, 2 oben liegende Nockenwellen je Zylinderreihe und 240 Kilowatt Leistung im 500 SL. The interior charms with its typical SL refinement and numerous luxurious details. Like central locking and electronic window lifter. In the 500 SL, the electronic steering column adjustment is also part of the series standard. In safety concerns, the new SL easily overtakes its predecessor. Despite the missing roof frame, the safety standard for an enclosed body style was met for the first time. A stable passenger compartment, especially designed for the needs of a cabriolet, accomplished that. The further developed front end concept also makes sure that in case of a frontal collision, the non-impacted sections also absolve some of the collision energy. A prominent part of the safety concept is the automatic safety roll bar a first-time novelty in automobile construction. Its central task, securing the survival space of the passengers in case of a rollover. The safety roll bar is only activated when the electromagnetic sensors perceive a critical situation. In 1992, Type 600 SL entered the market with a V12 engine generating roughly 400 horsepower. Visually, the top model is only distinct by its type sign and two V12 emblems. In the course of the overhaul, the 500 SL's engine was also slightly modified. In 1993, all model ranges were newly designated, including the SL. Its traditional designation is now in front of the three-figure number. At the same time, both six-cylinder models were supplied with new engines. In 1995, the SL models were visually and technically updated again. Newly furnished shock absorbers, a radiator grille with only six ribs, and side upholstery in the car's color are the most conspicuous changes. In the interior, door padding, steering wheel, and seat design were modified. Since the end of 1996, the SL has been serially provided with the Brake Assist BAS. Having identified an emergency braking situation, it automatically builds up full pressure in order to maximize brake usage and thereby shorten braking time. A 
Among the most important actions in the overhaul of 1998 were the introduction of a new engine generation with three valve technology and dual ignition. After over 11 years in production, the series was replaced in 2001 by its eagerly expected successor. The SL Roadster of the Series 129 still has a bright future ahead of it. As a timeless classic, it has by now found its way into collector's hands.